To get a HP 50G PC emulator, first go to hpcalc.org forward slash HP 49 forward slash PC forward slash emulators. Then when you're on this page, search for 50G and there's going to be this HP 50G's emulator package 1.0. This is what you're going to want to download. And then once it downloads, let's just put that on our desktop and extract it all right there. Okay, so if you try to run this right now, it's not going to work because it doesn't know what ROM to use. To fix that, go in here and rename the 215 version to be ROM.49G. Once you've done that, try it again, and you'll see it's worked. And the first time you open it up, it's going to say try to recover memory, um, just because it's not, it's not sure whether it's been set up or not. Uh, to prevent that from doing it every single time, let's just go file, save as, and then on the desktop, we'll just save our settings. Dot E49. Now, there's some initial flags that you're going to want to set up. I'll show you my, my preferred modes. So press mode, and then instead of algebraic, choose the RPN mode. And instead of the number format, I'm going to choose the engineering format with four decimal places. And we're also going to want to set some flags. Instead of infinite being an error, Let's make this infinite is uh, 9 to the power of 499. And I prefer the stack to use the mini font and for the edit to use the mini font just so you can see more on the screen at once. And I also prefer a left stack display. Additionally, we're going to be using lots of matrices and arrays. And for those, having the horizontal display really is kind of inconvenient. So I would switch list to vertical display and vector to vertical display. And we want complex numbers. And sometimes I, I want exact mode, sometimes I want approximate mode. I'll show you a shortcut to switch between those right after this. I also want a, the soft menu. It just means basically you'll have buttons that you can pick using these function buttons as opposed to lists that you have to scroll through. Alright, th those are some basic settings I, I really like. Before I said um, I would show you the, how to toggle between exact mode and approximate mode, you can do that by right clicking, or sorry, if you right shift and press enter, you'll look up here and you can see what we're toggling between exact mode and approximate mode. So that's how you set up the HP 50G emulator on Windows and if you see I close this and then I reopen it, you see all my settings are still how they used to be.